Hey there, and have a happy Thanksgiving. I'm Pastor Matthew Peters, and we're so glad that you tuned in to the Bridgepoint Church Valparaiso channel. Today we're talking about how to have a great Thanksgiving. And I don't know where you are with your Thanksgiving, but I know a lot of people have different experiences. They're looking forward to eating turkey. They're looking forward to having some pumpkin pie and relaxing and watching football. Um, but a lot of people are looking at Thanksgiving and they're concerned. They say, I'm just super busy and I don't even know how I can take the break. Um, they're saying, last Thanksgiving was a disaster. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do this again. And many aren't even thinking about it at all. They're just going right into Thanksgiving and they're not worried about having a good or bad Thanksgiving. It's just going to be a day off and they're going to stuff their faces. Um, and we want to just stop and recognize that everyone is having a different experience as they're going into Thanksgiving. And we want to give you a few tips and thoughts about how to tune your heart spiritually so that this Thanksgiving would be great. Um, First thing is, what's the name of the day? It's Thanksgiving. And one of the great themes of scripture is the joy of giving thanks to God. It actually tunes your heart right. It makes you sing. It makes you happy. Um, it's really good to stop and say, wow, what is it that has been good? What can we be thankful for? So before anything else, just stop and make an inventory of what you're going to thank God for this Thanksgiving. And then around the table say, hey, everyone, if you need a chink of glass, whatever, just say, hey, I really want to share this. I really want us to have the joy of Thanksgiving. So number one, take an inventory and prepare to have thankfulness on your Thanksgiving. The next is if you're having thought about what's going on with your Thanksgiving and you're just all about stuff in your face, watching football, getting some awesome dessert, whatever it is, slow down this year and say, okay, it's not really about the food. It's always been about the community and the thankfulness that we experience before God and say, you know what? I want to have a better Thanksgiving this year. I can have all the food and everything, but I really want it to be a whole spiritual activity. So we want to encourage you to slow down. And then there's many of you that are saying, I am dreading Thanksgiving. I do not want to see these people. I do not know how I'm going to handle myself. And you maybe just want to dig a ditch and crawl into it, right? Um, but what we want to do is we want to give you a little bit of encouragement that God is going to give you peace through this Thanksgiving as you rely on him and say, you know what? I'm not going to let this family member or that circumstance crush my joy, but I'm going to release my heart to say, God, I thank you in all circumstances. So we just want to give you this encouragement to take some pause time, prepare your hearts and get yourself ready to have a great Thanksgiving. So we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. We hope that this Thanksgiving is amazing. Um, if you like the content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out our uh, Instagram, Facebook, and all kinds of social media that we can share information with you that's going to inspire your spiritual journey. So until next time, keep the eyes of your heart on Jesus. And let's follow him together.